Question, different questions. When, when you go out and you seize American stuff, mm -hmm. you have to have a warrant. Mm -hmm. And an NSA was seizing American stuff, no warrant. And, the, and, the, and there are two options, either amend the Constitution or you get a warrant. That wasn't done. So what should the American people think? Well, I think that the laws that were passed, again, post 9-11, gave very broad authority. And that authority was passed by the Congress. It was by the FISA courts, and it was endorsed by executives in two administrations, both Bush and uh, Obama. And I think what has happened is people have said, okay, the emergency is over, and we want to get back to regular order. We want to make sure that we're not being uh, spied on, that our privacy is not being violated. So we want you to keep us safe. We want you to protect I, us. I don't, but I don't... we don't want Americans to be in any way um, fearful of their own government's I, I don't uh, think, actions. I don't think any American wants to be unsafe. And I think every American would want to give the authority of the government to seize things constitutionally. Mm -hmm. The problem is we have this funny little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And it's actually quite plain. And I know everyone on Capitol Hill is trying to scurry and say that we've got these laws, and I hear you too. But the fact is, is that the Fourth Amendment is plain. It says you need a warrant. Well, I think what you're going to you're going to find with the laws that are now being amended and uh, passed, one was just passed uh, in in the house that the Congress is trying to square Americans' constitutional right uh, under the Fourth Amendment uh, and the necessity for information that can be connected to terrorist activity here at home or abroad. It's a really difficult balancing act, but you're 100 percent right that we have to make some changes in order to secure that privacy, that constitutional right to privacy that Americans are due. All right. Sergeant